join us on our Super Mario Bros. Wii adventure as we, uh, don't mind that. Wait, what? Let's start a new file, right? Oh, oh. okay. I'm erasing that one. Are our voices gonna be loud enough? <clears throat> hey, guys. Join us on our narrative adventure as we go through, as we go through Koa. We actually have a guest joining us today, Tyson, our friend. He's playing as the Yellow Toad, and then it's still me as Mario and Tyler as Luigi. Say hi, Tyson. Hey, guys. <laughs> nice. Oh, we also have uh, our friend Jansen playing with us today. He's the Blue Toad. Say hi, Jansen. Hi. <laughs> We had no idea what we were going to do for a 500 subscriber special. So we, Tyler suggested that we just fight each other for 10 minutes straight. And if you guys haven't noticed by now, our our voices are crazy sounding. You're, <laughs> I'm Tyler and Chris is DICK! We, we just graduated! graduated. Yay! Yay. <laughs> This is Jordan. Say hi, Jordan. What's up? And this is Jordan, and he's 18. And, Mountain Dew! And he likes Mountain Dew, and he lives in Kearney. I'm T, I'm Tyler, and I'm 18 also, and I live in Kearney. This is Evander. Introduce yourself, Evander. I am Jordan's roommate. And unfortunately. He is, he, is, he is Jordan's roommate, unfortunately. Wait, you just gave him where we live. I'm Becca And Vogel. he also lives in Kearney, they Nebraska. <laughs> decided to move out and he is also going to be walking away from WRTP. I know that's like a huge shocker to all of you uh, but um, that's what he decided to do and he's gonna make another video about this um, and he said in a week or two and he told me not to talk to him ever again so a lot of people may have saw this coming um, Everybody always says, don't room with your uh, best friend when you go to college, and I would agree with that. But there are some things if you want to to prevent something like this happening. I have a couple things that I could tell you. Uh, mind your own business, even though you are in a small area, mind your own business. And second of all, um, don't get emotionally attached to girls and put them before your friends. Third... Um, just have fun, don't get, don't let yourself get all stressed out about everything, um, try and keep yourself busy and have fun with everything, but unfortunately that's what this video is about, Tyler's moving out and he is walking away from WRTP, uh, good news is, me and Tyson will still be doing it, we're actually, um, I think recording with me and Tyson will be a lot more consistent, because usually when we were going to record... Um, Tyler and I would get into an argument or he would just not want to. So one of the main reasons why we haven't been putting up videos for a long time is because Tyler hasn't been up for recording because he's ha been having a whole bunch of personal issues that I'm not going to get into. Uh, if you want, you can ask him on his form string or something. I don't know if he'll answer it. But um, anyway, me and Tyler are going to take over from now on. We're going to finish up everything that me and Tyler have left. And hopefully everything will be good. Um, I know all you people, a lot of you people only like WRTP because of Tyler, because he's the most funniest and crazy and all everything, but, I mean, uh, everybody can't be like that. Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do, and all you loyal people out there, I know you'll stay. Um, I guess if you don't want to see any more of Tyler, I think he's probably going to make his own channel, so you can go subscribe to him, and you can stay subscribed to us. And continue to watch our videos because um, we'll still have really good content coming up. Um, Tyler's going to make his own channel, I'm pretty sure, and probably do platformers like VIP and stuff like that on there. So everybody go subscribe to him whenever he makes his channel, if he ever does. Mainly, Chris and I just weren't getting along. Um, I don't want to get too personal with this because I don't want to create drama on YouTube. It's just not the place. I'm, I'm sorry that I sound a little... 
bleh right now. I'll try and explain why without getting too detailed with uh, personal issues. But um, anyway, um, I feel like I need to kind of be on a personal level with you guys because I, I want you all to understand. But at the same time, I don't want this to turn into a big flame war and I don't want sympathy for me and then sympathy for Chris um, because it's our situation and not your guys' situation. Um, to be honest, the main problem wasn't even Chris and for all the people that think I hate Chris, I don't. Okay, He's still my friend. We are just taking a very big break. Okay, So I want you guys to understand that. Uh, I left We Right to Pray on my own my own decision. Uh, um, it wasn't because of Chris. It wasn't because of my fight with Chris. Um, I'm sh maybe it might have had a little to do with it, but it wasn't the main reason why. Um, let's see. I, 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 let's see. I don't even know where to begin. Um, I quit college. Yes, I did. Uh, I will be going back in the future. Just not to that one. I fucking hate that college. Um, so that's a big thing in my life. Uh, quitting college is definitely a big deal. Um, now, for the people that are going to attack me for getting too personal, uh, don't. Because I'm only doing this because I feel bad that people don't understand. So, even though this sounds emotional and drama-fested, I'm going to try to explain this in the best way I can without overdoing it. Um, I got involved with a girl. Uh, now, a lot of you are probably thinking bros before hoes, but um, no. Uh, to be honest, that girl shouldn't have gotten between us. And um, in my opinion, she really didn't. Um, the way we handled the situation uh, kind of let her interfere. It's kind of hard to explain, but I'm not going to get into it. All I'm going to say is I'm definitely not putting the blame on that girl. And for the record, I am not even talking to that girl anymore. Uh, she was a very good friend of mine, and I don't even talk to her anymore. Um, I'm making a lot of changes in my life. I'm not really talking to Chris anymore. Um, you know, this is... Um, I'm, I'm doing this, I'm doing a lot of different things, and it's because I just wasn't happy with the way I was living. I felt too stressed out, um, everything was wearing me out, and it might be cowardly to take a break from all of it, And but you know, I'm only 18 years old, and if I really, you know, I'm not going to be dying anytime soon, hopefully, <laughs> but um, you know, it's. I just need to take a break from it all, and actually, I am um, already. Uh, I've already applied to some places, and I am d getting a job for now. And my parents have approved, and they are helping me out a bit. And uh, my life is changing a lot, guys. And whether it's for the better or not, I'm not sure yet. But um, it's a chance I'm going to take because I wasn't happy with the way I was before. And I just want you guys to realize this isn't just about me and Chris, okay? Me and Chris, it's... I don't mean for Chris to take offense to this, but he's hes not the biggest problem on my head right now. Because me and Chris are in horrible terms, and um, honestly, we'll be okay in the future. So, or hopefully, hopefully. But, um... <clears throat> You know, I just need to do this, and I could really use your guys' support for the people that do enjoy my company. I would really appreciate it if you all stayed subscribed to We Right to Pray, because that's where it all began. Chris and Tyson, I th honestly think, are going to do very well. Um, you know, and who knows, I might come back, you know. Um, but for now, I did move my channel. It's called Tyler Delin, and for the people that are wondering, Delin is my middle name. Whoa, that was really good, guys. Oh my god, who's that? It's me, guys. Hey, guys. No, Tyler don't here. Don't go to the demo. <laughs> me and Tyson are going to do Portal 2, guys. 
Hello boys and girls and welcome to another Super Mario Bros. Wii with Chris, Tyson, Jansen, and Tyler. It has been a whole year since we have done this and this is a hacked version of Super Mario Bros. Wii. We got me, Chris, me, Tyler, me, Tyson, and, and our special guest, <laughs> Spencer! Yeah! <laughs> It's been um, <laughs> about six months since we last uploaded. I think the last time we uploaded was like November sometime, like middle of November. I should explain um, why we uploaded. The reason why November. is because um, back when we did record, it was really hard to actually record because the um, screen recording software we are using, it took about like an hour to save each episode. So like <laughs> <laughs> even three episodes took four hours to do with recording and saving and everything so that's one big issue the other the biggest issue actually is uh because we were using jansen and um jansen just isn't really available anymore and uh we've learned now He's that taken. we've learned that we aren't <laughs> i'm sorry guys but we're never going to do a let's play with jansen unless it's like we really, 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 really small. Really yeah. small because he's just <laughs> he can't episodes. he can't commit, and yeah. we understand because he's busy with life and everything, and he's doing his own thing. But luckily, we have Spencer. You all know Spencer. Yay! So he's going to be taking Sucks. Jansen's place for now, um, for a long for now, ever <laughs> for, for the whole for the whole rest of this LP. Anytime you guys will see Jansen, will probably be just in a mess around every on, now and then. on brawl or something. Every maybe a couple times a year. So, um, that's Jansen's three hours away from here in a town, in a city, do, going to college and... Working part-time, doing all this friends. Stuff. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's where he, that's what he's doing, that's where he's gone. Don't expect him in any videos. I am starting a solo Let's Play channel. Uh, basically for all the Let's Plays that I wanted to do but can't really because we're too busy with other stuff on We Write to Pray. Links in the description. It's called Chris Rikes to Pray. <laughs> Welcome to Smashing Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> this is a new little series me and Chris are going to start on Sundays. Mm -hmm. And basically we're just going to... Yes. <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm Sully Pones. <laughs> Hello there, everybody. I'm Purple Rodri. We have Jansen. <laughs> right. And P6. Evan. Evan. Right. P7. Cassie. And P8. Brianna. <gasps> Sorry, everybody. These bonk heads had the mic muted. Oh, man. So we were talking to ourselves the whole time. I didn't turn it off. Our bad viewers. Now we look like idiots. All right, guys. This is... Our 12-hour live stream celebrating our 1,000th video, and we've been getting comments saying this is not our 1,000th video. Well, once we upload Newer Summer Sun, which is scheduled to go up at 12 p.m., and then after this gets uploaded, that'll be the 1,000th video. So technically, this is the 1,000th video. It will be, viewers, and it'll be glorious. Mm. A thousand videos, viewers. Took us like two and a half years. Right here, we have Chris and I's channel, Two Bros, One Up. It's our co-op channel. Uh, we'll mostly be playing some Nintendo games, two-player co-op stuff. And just having a lot of fun and being silly. Yes. And right here, we have Tyson and Spencer's co-op channel, TS Incooperated. They do a bunch of shooter games and stuff like that. Um, you know, kind of their style of gaming. What's up guys and welcome to our new Let's Play of Super Mario 3D World for the Nintendo Wii U. Oh my god. How excited is everyone for this game? I just want a cat suit. I'm more excited than when you get suit. Cheerios for breakfast. I'm pretty excited. I started a new YouTube channel with my good friend Chris from Rewrite to Pray. So essentially what this channel is going to be about is us providing you the best two-player gaming content two guys can create. We're kicking off the channel with a let's play of Super Mario 64, but it's not your ordinary Super Mario 64 let's play, I can tell you that. To show you that it's not just another channel that's going to die after a few weeks like so many people do, even myself. <laughs> I just wanted to do a quick promo video telling you guys about my new channel. 
Koopa Couple. It's a cooperative LP channel where we're going to be playing many games that we love, such as Nintendo Mario stuff and all that good jazz. And before any of you even ask, this channel will not affect WRTP in any way. It's just some extra content on the side. And welcome to something brand new on our channel. This has probably been really long awaited, but today we are bringing you the first versus race on WRTP, and we decided we'd start off with Super Mario 64. Oh, Bowser please. party with our special guest, Jansen! <laughs> yes. Whoa. Ooh. So Jansen, uh -oh. our good friend, oh. is going to be Hit Bowser. Your buttons. And our special guest. Hey guys, it's Cassie, <laughs> Tyson's girlfriend. What's up? So today we're going Very to be true. all racing an expert course, 100 Random. Mario Challenge. Chris here, making a video about a really big change that happened on our channel uh, recently. Um, we decided to change our name from We Like to Pray to We Like to Play. Now, first off, I want to tell you guys where the name came from. A lot of people think that the name, like the pray part, is about religion, which it's not. Um, so there's an old Nintendo Wii commercial. When the Wii first came out back in like 2007 or something, um, the two little like Japanese men would drive to people's houses and they the door would open and they would say, we would like to play. But since they're Asian, it kind of sounds you know, like we would write the prey because Asians pronounce their L's as R sometimes. Um, <clears throat> and so Tyler and I, I think we were like 17 when we made the channel and we were like, haha, that's so funny. You know, we're immature. We're like, uh, I don't remember, like juniors in high school or something. And so we're like, oh yeah, let's just make the channel that because we wanted to make videos. We didn't really care about what the name of the channel was because, I mean, when you make your username, you don't ever think that like, it's anything's ever going to come out of it um and so down the line you know tyson joined jansen was there for a little bit and then spencer um joined permanently and we started getting a lot more popular and we started getting to the point where we would go to like pax conventions uh, if you guys don't know there's pax conventions every like spring summer and winter um they're big conventions where like gamers and just everybody in the gaming industry comes together and you know has these big conventions and so we have been just a lot of those conventions and it's just it's very awkward um when people are like oh what's your channel name and we're like uh we like to pray and they're like we like to play and we're like no we like to pray and they're like we like to play and then we're like just let me write it down for you or something like that so it's <clears throat> the main reason we decided to change the name, it it doesn't necessarily come down to like the potential racism as some people see it. Some people actually do see it as racism. We're not racist at all. Um, you know, we were just stupid when we made our name and whatever. But um, it's not really because of that. It's more because of us and the business uh, the business point of it. Um, the one like really vivid memory that was probably like the worst is it was PAX it was last PAX East was it yeah it was last PAX East so PAX East 2015 um we were at the YouTube booth doing like a little meetup or whatever and the director of the booth came up to us he was Asian the director of the booth came up to us I was like oh what's your channel name so we can put it up on the tv screen or whatever and we're like we write to pray and he's like what we're like we write to pray and it's just it's it's just awkward it's it's uncomfortable um and that's obviously something we never thought about when we made the channel six years ago it's actually almost it's like six years almost to the day um and so as we have been getting bigger um, you know, going to more conventions, and it is, you know, 
it's becoming more and more like our job and so people when they ask us what we do it's just very it's just uncomfortable when we have to it's not bad if we tell them oh well, we do youtube videos but um sometimes people will ask oh what's your channel so i can give you you know another subscriber a few more views and we have to tell them it's just it's just very weird it's kind of it's very awkward um and so we changed the name to we like to play and that just it makes a lot more sense because in those Wii commercials they they do say we would like to play and so now when people ask us like oh what's your name or oh where did the name come from? We can just say, oh, it was the old Nintendo Wii commercials, and we play mostly Nintendo games, and we like to play. And It just makes a lot more sense for us um, as a business standpoint. Um, again, it's not because people were offended or anything that it was racist or anything like that. It was just... It, a lot of the times when we tell people, they just don't understand what it is. Like, they just don't catch on to what it actually means. Or they they understand it but they think it's you know kind of weird because it kind of is and that's pretty much it so um again you guys can still call us wrtp like we're obviously we're okay with that because that is what you guys have known us for some of you for like the past six years um it's easy it's a lot easier to say than wltp obviously um so you guys can still call us whatever you want but from now on literally the only thing that ch changed is when people ask us what's your channel name we can just say we like to play it just looks a lot more professional you know it's we like to pray it's not marketable at all and that's the things that we have to start thinking about now that our channel almost has half a million subscribers um it is our job guys but we still love doing it obviously we're putting out videos every day some of you may know Four years ago, we started a channel called Two Bros One Up. It was a two-player channel, and we actually, after our first Let's Play, stopped uploading it, uploading on it for personal reasons, and we're not going to really get into that, yeah. but we have decided that we're finally ready to bring it back and bring it back for good. Now, I know what you're thinking. Yes. What Chris, are they thinking? This is like the fifth channel you've made. Why do you keep doing this? Well, <laughs> that it's going to be different this time, viewers. Finally, what you all have been waiting for, we have launched a t-shirt campaign. We've never sold any sort of merchandise before, and I'm honestly, I don't really know why. And since we finally came up with like a nice logo that we like and like some solid artwork, we decided we would put it on a shirt and make our first campaign. I will not be partaking because I'm not that comfortable on camera, guys. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh and that's I okay. Be, I will go. be in some future stuff. Also, uh, we just wanted to let you guys know that Tyler will be sitting out uh, this Let's Play uh, due to personal reasons. And that's all we're going to say about that. Tyler is not here due to personal reasons. You might have noticed I've been missing from videos for about the past month. And that is because ultimately I decided that I want to quit WLTP. Obviously this was a hard decision to make. Uh, WLTP has been my life for like the past seven years. So just saying goodbye to it now is, is obviously very difficult. There's a lot of things that contribute to this decision. But ultimately it just boils down to just not having the drive and motivation that I used to have. I know it may be difficult for some of you to understand. But it just... The past year or so, it's felt like it's something I've been needing to do. Uh, I feel like I've been weighing down my teammates, and it's just something I haven't been wanting to do anymore. But don't get me wrong, guys. I've loved being a part of WLTP. Chris and I started this just with a flip video camera, recording Mario Bros. Wii, and, you know, back then it was just, it was just a passion. We just loved playing video games, and we thought we were funny. And, you know, thankfully we were funny to millions of people, hundreds of thousands, and that is honestly a dream come true, and I don't regret any of it. I know things might be a little weird without me for a while, guys, but I still want you guys to be giving all your support to WLTP because I feel like they honestly deserve it. One last thing before I change the topic is I just want to thank each and every one of you for being a part of this community and for being a part of WLTP because... This honestly would not have been possible without all of you. So I'm truly grateful and it's been a great seven years, guys. And now moving on to more serious matters. 
A lot of you might be aware that Chris and I have another channel called Two Bros One Up, and we haven't uploaded on it for about a month now, and it's due to, obviously, some of this. Uh, we haven't discussed what we wanted to do with that channel yet because a lot of things have changed the past couple of months. So that is something we, we will be talking about, and hopefully you guys can understand um, for those that do watch that channel. And we will put an update on that channel when the time comes, whether or not we decide to continue with it. Now just because I'm leaving WLTP doesn't mean I'm completely abandoning the internet, guys. You guys might already know that Chris and Tyson stream on Twitch.tv all the time, and that's something I've really wanted to get involved in as well. But it'll probably be a while before I decide to do so, simply because I feel like I really need a break after everything that's been happening lately. Probably a couple of months. So one last thing before this video comes to a close, I just want to thank you all again so much for the past seven years. It's been a crazy experience. Hopefully you can keep continuing to support WLTP. This was a video that I was going to make for a really long time. Um, I just want to let you guys know that this video might be a little bit longer. If you don't want to like listen to me talk, then you can... I'll just type everything down below. And you guys can just read up on that if you want to. But I'd really appreciate it if you guys would watch the entirety of this video. Sorry about my dogs. Um, because this video is very important. Um, I know that Tyler left uh, like two months ago. And I mean, I think he just wasn't happy. And uh, he didn't have that same drive that he used to. Um, and I can sympathize with that because lately I've kind of been feeling the same way um and i'm not a hundred percent sure why i just know that i feel that way L lately i have just been not as excited about recording anymore and i think a big part of a big part of that is because of the way we have to record like the recording situation um we live two hours away from each other like a two hour drive it's like a hundred and i don't know like a hundred and like 40 miles something like that um and so every time we have to record either i will drive there to their house and we will record for like i don't know like 10 hours straight and then we go to sleep and depending on my sleep schedule you know um i just won't get any sleep and i'll if I go there, I have to sleep on a couch, and I can't even sleep in my own bed half the time. So, uh, I don't ever really get much sleep, and then we have to wake up early, and we have to do it again for, you know, 10 hours or something, or 8 hours until we feel like we have enough, you know, to last 2 or 3 weeks until we have to do it again. And, um, I mean, if I don't go there, they come here, and that's obviously, like, a lot easier for me, but then they are the ones who have to come here, and they have to you know, not be able to sleep in a bed and stuff like that, and, um, but usually, um, I'm the one who goes there, like, I go there most of the time, and that was because I was the one who decided to move, right, uh, like, four years ago, like, three and a half years ago now is how long we've been, we've been apart like this, and so for the past three and a half years, we've been making it work by doing that, like, traveling for, a long ways and recording in bulk and stuff and I've always felt that because of that the quality of our videos have suffered um it wasn't the same as when we you know when we first started out and we were in high school and we like I would just have like Tyler and Tyson come over after school for like two hours before my mom got home so we could record um on our little flip video camera and stuff uh and that was it's different and after that, you know, we went to college for a little bit, and we, like, Tyler and I was still roomed together, so we could record in then, and then, um, that's when Tyler left for a little bit, and then Tyson was in the same, like, dorm room as me, so it still was really easy to record and stuff, and then after that, we went to my mom's house, and that was a little harder, because I think, um, Tyson was in, was Tyson in Carney? I think Tyson was in Carney at that point. I don't even remember, but that was still, like, kind of easy, you know, they would come over from, like, Spencer had to work, and he'd come over till like, 5.30, and 
until like 10 o'clock or something before my mom went to bed and we'd record and stuff and that was that was fun and then you know eventually we decided to move in together and that's when things were that's when things really started to take off for our channel too because I don't know if it was because we lived together and recording was so much easier and like the content was better because the situation wasn't so stressful anymore um but yeah I've always felt like once we moved away um the recording suffered and stuff and it was okay at first you know we did it for you know years and um just lately I've been feeling different about it and I'm not sure why that is uh I would be dreading, like, you know, having to go record because, like, my sleep schedule would be messed up, so I wouldn't even get any sleep or something like that. Like, I'd be typically going to bed at, like, 6 a.m., but I'd have to wake up at 8 a.m. to get ready to go drive and record for, like, a day and a half straight or something like that. And so it just got stressful. And I know if a lot of you guys have been following uh, a lot of other bigger YouTubers, even smaller YouTubers, just... YouTube and YouTube drama in general and stuff, uh, the, what they call the adpocalypse, uh, happened this year, and we have just, like, YouTube as a job, YouTube has been our job, all of us, for, I don't know, five years now, and, um, five or, yeah, it's like five years now, and we've been making, like, decent like we've been able to like live comfortably for those five years even splitting the money four ways because we split it four ways equally um but it wasn't until just recently we started seeing like a decline in october and then like november and december is okay because um those are holidays so you like make a little bit more but January and up until now like it just kept getting worse and worse and worse and to a point where like I can't even like pay my rent with like I can't even pay my rent with uh the revenue we make from YouTube it's that bad and like our views are more or less like kind of the same we just like aren't just like the money's not there right now and um I hate to use that as an excuse but because I still, like, like, I love you guys, and I love making content for you guys, like, with the other, with the other two, um, but, like, it's getting to the point where I need to focus on, you know, me and my family and stuff, and, like, if I didn't have to travel, and if the recording situation wasn't the way that it was, then I would probably still want to continue making videos and stuff but like the return just isn't there anymore which really sucks because like I don't know I think a lot of like I think everybody has been like a little demotivated and I think that is like also like um affected our content and stuff so yeah as you guys know I like stream on twitch.tv and I stream there pretty regularly and it's gotten to the point where you know I make more on twitch than I do youtube and I need to focus on what's like better for me and what's better for my future right now um and unfortunately like I had to make a decision I guess I suppose I could have stuck it out like a little bit longer you know um to maybe see like maybe our channel will bounce back, but it's just been, like, on a slow decline, like, it's just, everything's down, it's just been slowly going like that, you know, for, for a while now, and it, like, really affected me, because I really care about this channel, you know, and it, it it just really demotivated me to see it, like, go down like that, and don't worry, guys, like, the channel's not going anywhere, Tyson and Spencer are gonna keep keep continuing the the channel um like we talked about it and we worked everything out and stuff and we figured you know it'd be best if Ty- Tyson and Spencer continued they want to keep they want to keep going they still have that drive and um uh, I really respect that honestly and um I mean the content might change a lot because like Tyler and I are both out of the picture now and 
and we were the two that lived far away. Tyson and Spencer just live a few minutes away from each other, so, I mean, they don't have to record, like, 20, 30 videos in one sitting, and, you know, they have, like, a lot, they have, it's just a a lot better of a situation now, because they can just record a few here and there, like, every few days or something, or, like, just record, like, for a few hours, and then have enough for a week, and then they're, like, that's gonna be so much easier for them and stuff, and, Um, Up until this point, I've kind of been calling the shots, and so who knows, maybe I'm the one who has been holding the channel back. Uh, I don't know, but we'll see, because now that they're going to be taking over and stuff, um, I don't want you guys to, like, abandon the channel or anything like that. I want you to still give it a chance, because they're still going to be trying. As far as, like, what I'm going to do now, um, it does feel bad to, to leave all of you guys on YouTube and stuff, but, um, like I said, don't worry, because Tyson and Spencer are gonna keep going at it, they're troopers, um, I'm sure they'll make some really, really great, funny content for you guys, um, <clears throat> I flustered right now, I mean, I just want to thank you guys for everything, because, like I said, none of us would be where we are without you guys, so, like, we have you guys to thank for supporting us, all these years, I know there are people that are still with the channel from day one, which is amazing. So, like from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys. And I really hope you come and you come talk to me on my Twitch channel or something like that because I still want to talk to you guys and stuff, and I still enjoy, you know, answering your questions or just like some of the stuff you guys say. Sometimes it just makes me laugh. So, but as far as WLTP, I'm done. <laughs>